Hi guys, Steve here. On this video, I'm going to show you the new fastest way to tame a tropo. It appears they've patched a taming technique, possibly twice since it came out. So I'm going to show you three new fastest ways to tame it. If you haven't already, please subscribe and click the like button and click notifications and all, as it will help me out with YouTube. Thank you very much. If you've seen my previous video, this is a follow on from that, and I'm going to use the same trap method. We have a level 150 tropo. We need to shoot it with a chain bowler, so I've put a blister on the back of a penisaur. Get it in position. You can also place a blister on the ground, but I like it on the back of a horse, because if a tropo moves, I can move with it. Aim and fire. Right, we've caught it. Go up to it and put your trap down. And use three dino gate method again. Use a gap between each gate, so you can look in and shoot it but not big enough for it to fly out. Then put a gates in. Then put a pillar down. Build it up. Call the horse over because I need to put a ceiling on top of that to stop it flying out the top. Put one more pillar in, known the ceiling, build it across and one more for good measure. There we go, that's the hard bit done. Now I've got it trapped. Might just get round to an opening. Right, that's its food at the moment on the left hand side in the middle. Shoot it with a chain bowler. Drop down and look at its food. Once you bowler it, you can see its health goes down quite a lot. But do not feed it yet or it will screw everything up. We're going to starve it. I'm not going to use a super spyglass. You can still see the food going down. Then at a certain point it stops. And from then on it will only tick down one at a time. Just move this horse into position. It's a bit close at the moment. I don't want it to get nibbled on. Shoot it from there. Right, the tropo takes off. You can see still on the left side, but it's only ticking down one food at a time. And it flies away, and it's still only ticking down one at a time. I think before it kept losing food really quickly, but as you can see it doesn't do it anymore. Just have a closer look, see the food's not gone down anymore since the first bowler. We'll just tick down one, just take this first time slowly. So what you need to do is get on your horse, shoot it again with a bowler and you'll see its food start to go down again quite quickly. Remember do not give it anything to eat or it will screw up the tame and make it last hours. Go on the spyglass again, it's dropping fast on the left hand side and again it will get to a certain point and stop. And after that, just tick down one food at a time. So the trick is, every time you shoot it with a bowler, it loses food quickly, if you don't feed it. And that's how you make it hungry and starve it. Now you need to get it starving enough, so when you give it all the kibble, one after another, that it'll tame it up straight away, almost instantly. If you don't starve it enough, then you could be waiting half an hour to an hour to give it another kibble. So err on the side of caution and make sure it's really starving. As you can see the food's only ticking down one at a time. After you've shot it with a chain bowler and it gets back up, there's a short time after where you can't bowler it again. You have to wait for that time to pass before you can take it to the ground again. So get on your blister. 
computer again. Oh, let's go on the other side. It's a bit hostile. The food will start dropping again. This is its third bowler. We're on a times four taming server, by the way. Just waiting for the bowler to disappear and it to get back up. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Still ticking down one. Wait a little while so I can bowler it. There we go. It's back down again. And the food's dropping. That should be enough. I'm going to give it a kibble. We should put on zero on the hot bar. With one chain bowler, it'll last about three kibble feeds. It's almost instant. Like I say, I'm on times four taming. So it'll just take four kibble for a 150. There we go, it's back up again. Now if I try and shoot it straight away, it's resistant to the bowler. I've got to wait a little while and try again. There we go, and it should be the final one. There we go, that's better than waiting hours to tame it, isn't it? So that's taming method one. Let's get this out and go to taming method number two. We have a Trapo calmly walking around, punch it in the ass, then run back to my cage. Can use it again. Go and close the door, trap it inside, escape through the side. There we go, got it trapped. And then get on your horse. Shoot it with a chain bowler. Get a weapon out. I'm going to use a long neck. Then shoot it. Keep an eye on its health. Really? It's bulletproof. There we go. I want to get its health down really low. One more should do it. There we go. Right. As you can see, it's badly injured, and injured creatures need food to heal them. Right, its food is virtually full at the moment. Ticking down one at a time, like normal. Close look. And as you can see, unlike before, when it's flying away, its food drops really quick. It's still dropping. I've only used one bowler up to now. Get out of there when he tries to attack you. Still dropping. The hunger's coming up to half. Get out again. Little gits nip me. Still going down. This method saves on shooting it all the time with bowlers. So you don't have to make so many. Let's go around the sides. Try and give you another close look. Move away from it. Try and lose its aggro a bit. 
Wait for it to turn around. Show you its food. There you go. That should be enough. So, just get on your horse again. Shoot it with a bowler. It's very hungry, so just go up to it and keep feeding it. Again, one bowler is enough time to feed it three kibble. Come on, get hungry. There we go. Still half food. Third one, and it should take off before I can give it a fourth. Yep. Get out of there. Get back on your blister. Shoot it. It's resistant at the moment. You have to wait a little while. Shoot it again. And then go down and give it its last kibble. If we can get round. There you go, that's Taming Method 2. Which I have to say is more fun and faster than Taming Method 1. Okay, now on to 3. This is similar to Method 1, but with a nice little trick. Right, the top of Jara, I mean Tropo, is in there. Shoot it with a blister. And it starts to lose food. As before. However, if you get on your blister again and shoot it and keep shooting it, it stacks the amount of time it's bowled for. So, on the first bowler, it starts losing its food really quickly and it will continue to lose its food quickly as long as it's bowled. You see where this is going? That should be enough. So from all those bowlers, it's going to continuously lose food. And it's going to drop and drop. Granted, you will have to make quite a lot of bowlers to do that, but you've got two other methods if you don't want to. Food's still going down. It's not stopped yet. Still going down. This way you don't even have to let it get up. That's about one third food gone. Still going. Let's shoot it a few more times just to be safe. You're not going anywhere, mate. And it's still dropping. to half food just wait a little bit more it's better to starve it too much than not enough and it's never stopped going down that should be enough. Let's give it some kibble. One. Now before, you only could give it three kibble before it flies up. However, you can give it as much as you want. Because it's still bowlered. 
and all the bowler times added together. So this time you'll be able to feed it four kibble on this times four server. There's three, one more. There you go, Taming Method 3. Which one of those do you think was best? Let me know in the comments below. Let's put a saddle on it. Give it some fuel. And a few grenades. Oh, it's too slow. Let's press control. And I'm rocket powered. Shift to move faster. Right mouse button, fire your grenades. Press C. There's some salt. And that's the fastest way to tame a tropio. If you was impressed, please subscribe. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe if you've not already, and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to other videos at the end, comment on what you would like to see. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye!